Hi everyone. So this is my eighth course in my master's program and it has by far been my favorite. This could be because I'm more in a groove with coursework or I'm more used to the fast paced semester blocks, but I actually think it has more to do with the themes and the course aligning with values and ideas that I'm passionate about and at the same time pushing me to be uncomfortable while I'm learning. There are two types of classes I love, cut and dry, right and wrong, think financial and resource management, and then this class, which allowed us, well, me, to explore, self-reflect, and land somewhere better, not right or wrong. Sometimes courses advertise as this, only to have personal reflections and conclusions held to someone else's determinations and marked as wrong or insufficient. And I understand that this course's format might not be correct for every class. However, I wish more were like it. This course confirmed my drive to question, question to understand how people, things, and processes work. And I was surprised by my initial reaction to the idea of utopias. I admit that it was one of pessimism and I had to take a moment and check myself. And as I read through more of the text and learned more through each module, there were two themes that continued to emerge for me that helped me digest the principle of utopias. And those two themes were active hope and that change takes time. I was inspired by the Confess project, which was the um, project that I initially looked into for, I believe in module one. Um, I was also inspired by the Dudley Street initiatives and that assignment, also the concept of asset-based approaches. I think that is seared into my mind and it seems somewhat ridiculous that I was ever defining people organizations, associations of people in terms of what they aren't. Um, that's definitely something moving forward that I will um, take with me. I will also question differently. I will question not just to understand how, but I'll be questioning for perspective, questioning to learn from those who have firsthand experience, um, questioning to stir my empathy to create little micro tears and to be more uncomfortable and to create micro growths in my own conscientiation. In the future, I would like to know more about strategic planning and developing development through asset-based approaches, particularly how a community or association develops using the, AB, the ABCDs in a way that best positions them to meet in the middle with others, but without repeating the missteps of the past, like oppressive patterns or letting unequal power dynamics kind of slip back in because there's compromises being made because they are meeting in the middle. How I just would like to, I would like to learn more about that. I enjoy the interactions on discussion boards and in group work with everyone. Um, both of my partners were great and brought hard work and unique perspectives to our projects. Particularly, Colleen Seawall um, would pose questions during group work that pushed me to look at things a bit differently. Um, I also looked forward to Hayden Hall's work. His contributions felt sincere, personal, and at the same time, they seemed to be delivered in this tidy little easy to understand algorithm. It just was very easy to digest, but um, very thought out as well. Um, I enjoyed this class thoroughly and um, congratulations to everyone um, for getting to this point.